So let's talk about the impact cycle and why planning is so important. You've identified your specific social causes and you know what your target groups need. Drawing on your organization's vision, you've established your project objectives and your approach. In order to achieve project objectives, you need inputs to realize outputs. And once your target groups start using these outputs, you know that outcomes are not far away. In the next step, these outcomes can contribute to changes at a societal level, and this is impact. These changes give rise to new needs and objectives, so the impact cycle begins again. This is why planning and adjusting are part of an ongoing process in a project. Using a logic model can help you with this. So let's take a look at the logic model. Using a logic model can show you how to develop your project objectives more effectively, especially since you already know who your target groups are. Now, even if you know that your project in practice is affecting change, it's still worth checking to make sure that it's plausible. Logic models have several benefits. They can help you develop impact targets for each step, and they can also help you ask the right questions for your impact analysis. And finally, logic models can help you communicate your good plan to funders and stakeholders. When developing a logic model, it's important to start by thinking from the end and working backwards. This means you start with impact and then move to input and resources. The thing is, is you want to develop your targeted social impact without worrying about the constraints of resources or any other issues. You want to give yourself the freedom to just develop ideas. So at each stage in planning, you need to determine what needs to be done and what needs to take place in order to achieve your results. So for example, if you want to reduce youth unemployment, you need to first ask, what needs to happen? Youth need more jobs. But in order for that to happen, they need to be able to submit better, high-quality applications. And so you repeat this for each step in the results staircase. And when you're done, you'll have a very clear idea of what your project needs to do to achieve its objectives. Don't forget, impact-oriented planning means rethinking your planning on a regular basis. And you can do this over and over again.